Can you tell me your name? Howard Wolf. And how old are you, Howard? 73. What condition are you being treated for? Uh, COPD. Can you tell me a little bit about your symptoms? Shortness of breath, can't breathe, can't walk long way. Before you came to this clinic, how were you being treated? Well, I was treated with the normal medications, the, the uh, inhalers, and et cetera, uh, Teophylline, and, uh, and oxygen. How were you feeling before you came for treatment? Uh, I was on hospice in 2007, and uh, then getting various stem cell treatments since then, and now I'm doing as good as I was about the time I went on oxygen in 2005. Um, now this is your <laughs> second treatment with Dr. Burks? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. What made you decide to, to come forward with stem cell treatment? Well, I, I was put on hospice and uh, my wife went to the internet and we discovered stem cell treatment. And at the time, my son had just had a new baby and he saved the umbilical cord and we went to Mexico for umbilical cord uh, stem cell treatment. Before being treated with adult stem cells, what was happening? How are you feeling? Oh, I had improved quite a bit with the umbilical cord treatment, but it still wasn't what we understood could be done. And uh, the doctor at the time that was in charge of my umbilical cord treatment moved here to Sarasota, and so we started coming down here. Um, did Dr. Burks do anything other than adult stem cell treatments to help you? Yes, I believe the laser treatment that he provides helped quite a bit. How is the staff at teaching you things to follow up at home? Oh, wonderful. Were, um, were your other doctors, other, other medical professionals supportive of your decision to come get stem cell treatment? Uh, one was at uh, at the Veterans Administration. He he didn't say do it, but he didn't say not to do it. And, and he was he was fairly supportive. How long ago were you treated here? How long ago? The last treatment was in October of uh, 2011. How are things different after the treatment? They had improved dramatically. Uh, like I said, I was back to where I was. I can go without oxygen most of the time. Only when I'm under stress <laughs> or uh, when I know that I'm going to be working hard or walking fast or doing something, you know, that's uh, but under normal uh, conditions. I can go without it and walk slow and this kind of thing. Were you on oxygen all the time before treatment? Yes. Can you tell me a little more about the symptoms that have changed after treatment? After the October treatment, uh, uh, it took until about the 1st of January and I was feeling really good and I had my oxygen turned down to one liter per minute. and. Uh, I went to bed one night and I said, I'm feeling pretty good. I'll just hang this thing up, this, this hose, and I hung it on a bedpost and woke up the next morning with uh, a 98 reading on my oximeter, which I thought was a real miracle. And since then, I've been pretty much going without it, except for, like I told you before, the stressful or hard work or whatever. How are you feeling emotionally before and after treatment? I feel a lot better now. Uh, I have more confidence 
and I'm, I'm just enjoying being able to not have to walk around the house dragging that hose behind me. Now, how is how has this affected you your relationship with your wife? Oh, we we've always had a good relationship. <laughs> Now, are you able to do anything now that you weren't able to do before? Oh yes, I'm doing. I'm doing a lot of stuff. I mean, we've just done a lot of things. I, I can, you know, go out and peel around in the garage or in the workshop. I've been uh, on the tractor out in the field, this kind of thing. And I've been doing a little gardening. I mean, it's just we're just uh, it's just. Like I said, back like it was before I went on oxygen. I mean, was any uh, any part of your treatment scary? Uh, no, no. Has anyone you know commented on your condition before and after? Yes, I mean, people say I look a lot better. Uh, I've got more color. My regular primary care doctor has commented. How are you keeping your attitude and motivation up as you do this regimen? Well, I, uh, I keep a routine. I mean, I've had it for several years. It's where I, I exercise six mornings a week, uh, treadmill three times, and uh, strength training on three times. I've done that for a long time. And now I've done it without oxygen. I mean, so. What would you say to someone who is considering treatment? Get on with it. <laughs> Do it. Don't wait. What would you say to somebody apprehensive about treatment? Don't worry about it. Just go do it. <laughs>